Okay, welcome Vlad and Ethan. Vlad, uh, uh, do you want to introduce yourself uh, quickly? Sure. I'm Vlad, one of the uh, co-inventors of CryptoSource, among other things, I guess. Okay, and, and you, Ethan? Other co-inventor, uh, also among other things pertaining to the internet and life in general. So Crypto Schwartz is the project that you, you presented at the uh, hackathon in Toronto uh, last month. That's right. And did you guys uh, win a prize for that, didn't you? Yeah, we came second. Woo. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, yeah. awesome. So uh, can you tell us a little bit more about what Crypto Schwartz is, how it works, what its purpose is? Shotgun. Sure, yeah, go for it. So Crypto Schwartz is a platform where you can identify content, hashtag it, upvote and download the hashtags in a way that you're rewarded crypto tokens if you predict the way that people vote later. So we hope that it's going to be an incentivization layer for constructing semantic web for all sorts of content that can be basically linked to with. So it's uh, like a Reddit where you can, you can earn something if your content is popular, is that the idea? Yeah, but it's it's not just about your content, it's about how you rank the content. And we tried we're trying to move away with just this brute force upvote downvote mechanic that's so prevalent on the web and actually introduce a, a semantic aspect to it so that users they only get rewarded for voting on tags, not on content itself. So you vote mm -hmm. on a label on the content, right? Um and so it's not just about the people producing the content, it's about the people that are accurately describing it. Uh, and ranking it essentially. Yeah, and it's not about value judgments as much as it is about accurate descriptions. Right. Okay, but it can't be about value judgments. Uh, what sort of uh, what sort of technical challenge did you did you encounter when you built it, and uh, where are you in the uh, in the deployment of that project? Well, we're still pretty early on. Um, obviously, one of the main concerns with the decentralized system is uh, a secure consensus mechanism. So. We're not going to build a blockchain ourselves. We're thinking of doing this on Ethereum, obviously. Uh, and so we've got that out of the way. But to build a, a publishing system with voting and where you're rewarding for voting, uh, we need some a, a secure reputation system as well. And so mm -hmm. we're very sort of early in the stages of figuring out how that's going to work. It sounds like reputation systems are at the core of pretty much uh, everything uh, on yeah, Ethereum so. going forward, on. Yeah. The future of the internet is going to hinge on the reputation systems we come up with. Right, right. And, and could those reputation systems be shared across uh, multiple, uh, multiple applications? So you have your crypto Schwartz, sort of social network tagging and so on. Uh, could somebody building a decentralized eBay could leverage this uh, as well to extract reputation information from that? Yeah. So there's, there's a couple of concepts of reputations. There's reputation for someone, like to someone, and then there's uh, reputation, which is more like an identity, and identity is kind of like a collection of reputations. So any anyone should be able to access your identity and look at the reputations that you have to different DAOs, for example. Right. So right. you might have a, a, a reputation for crypto shorts, you might have a reputation for some other DAOs, and another DAO might be able to access those reputations in order to make a judgment about whether or not you're likely to contribute or something. How, how do you plan to monetize something like this, if at all? It's self-monetizing, right? So, so the way crypto rewards works, that the tokens that are issued for predicting other people's votes are the tokens that are required to use the system. Uh -huh. So, it's if the system is fun to use and people love it, then the tokens are going to have a price, right? And it's going to be monetized for the users based on their accurate, you know. Uh, socially predictive use of the system. Right, and that, that's the users obviously uh, are benefiting from having identified uh, early either acts, uh, content producers and so on. But what about you guys? Do you get a cut of this? If so, how? Well, we're early adopters and the fun thing about all these crypto technologies is yeah, they're open source and in the long term the inventors don't get to control the project and the inventors don't get to benefit forever you know, it, it disproportionately. Mm -hmm. Because we get in it early, uh, you know, then if we're producing content early, then then we'll reap rewards from that. Yeah. But the the important thing is 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 to build a system that can compound value instead of eating up the value of all all its users. Right? We want to like give back to the users because they're doing so much work 
anyways, right? They're spending all day on Facebook and Twitter. They should be getting rewarded for that. Yeah, and right now it's the, the advertisers that get rewarded, aren't they? Of course. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Are, are you so, guys... Uh, uh, another sorry, way, guys. another... Sorry, and the, another way to, that we can monetize it in a sense is that... So for anything living on Ethereum, you need to pay expenses in Ether. Mm -hmm. And if your users are paying expenses in the subcurrency then there's a conversion that takes place between the user fees which are on the subcurrency and the ether mm -hmm. which is required for operations so any excess ether can be used to pay back investors that provided the initial ether which was used while the subcurrency doesn't have any price so if we invest in the system then we can be repaid from the fees that the users use on the application later um, and the idea is to have the profit be basically as minimal as you can, given the fact that you don't want it to go bankrupt. Because if it goes bankrupt, then kind of it grinds to a halt. Right, right. Gaia, yeah, Gaia. Yeah, yeah. So are you, are you guys a startup? Are you looking for investors? What, what are your general plans? We're discussing it. So right now, my favorite model is to have a nonprofit that starts up DAOs or DACs and um, where you can make profit in those DACs but those are separate entity from the nonprofit which funded their development because the development itself actually can't easily be directly funded by the investors in the DAC unless you pre-sell shares in the DAC and that has you know legal consequences, con consequences or mm -hmm. implications or uh, or it kind of might exist in a legal context that's cumbersome. Got okay, yeah, got yeah. Uh, how do you how do you see the sort of the future of crypto shorts unfold? I mean, do you have a, a release schedule? Obviously, Ethereum is not live yet, so it's not until mm -hmm. December, I imagine. Right. Well, you know, so so we're sort of working on our own version of uh, the Pi Ethereum client uh, and sort of making it work for everything crypto Schwartz needs, so that we can test it on our own. Um, but like I've said sort of crypto shorts going big is going to depend on us solving a num number of technical problems. The mm -hmm. main one probably being reputation. Another nice one would be uh, data hostage and storing to be able to monetize that or incentivize that. Um, but, you know, in the coming year, we'll probably see this thing live somewhere. It'll be centralized to begin with. And, you know, we'll try and bootstrap it to get some trustworthy people putting reputable content on it so we can sort of test out the dynamics of the thing and, you know, basically have a test net going. I'd say in the next year or so. All right. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, where can people learn more about this? Is there a blog, po po blog post or website or something? Like that? We have some Google Docs, but we're working on uh, putting everything together in a, a sort of nicer presentation. Yeah, we're, our... still, we're still in the research stages in terms of right. figuring out how it will actually work in a way that's not exploitable. Exactly. Like the way we initially designed it at the hackathon as a proof of concept turns out how to had an attack vectors that could be exploited by an arbitrarily small group of <laughs> right. users. Okay, right. fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So, I mean, like that's an issue, and we kind of addressed it at the, at the hackathon, but we didn't really realize how big of an issue it was until you know, more thought was put into it. Right. Um, I think maybe this interview will be a really good source for people to mm -hmm. uh, learn about crypto shorts. Mm -hmm. um, Here's a really neat aspect of crypto shorts, uh, is that you don't need cooperation from the platform who's posting the data that you're hashtagging. So if you post a really great Facebook status update, I can identify that you know, if it's public and then people can upload and download hashtags on it. And then uh, we don't need to use, we don't need to compete with Facebook's network effect to ride on their network effect. And then right. if Facebook is so kind as to give you an Ethereum public key, then we can give you tokens if a lot of attention is drawn to your status update. Right. And then we don't need to negotiate with Facebook for that, but they, if they want to benefit their users, will be so kind as to, you know, maybe give us a little, like, logo with a little hashtag thing on it, or yeah. at the very least a public key. That's awesome. Users. That's awesome. I think you're going to get a, a phone call from Mark Zuckerberg just after publishing this, this interview, I think. Awesome. That'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be good, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, cheers, guys. Sell it, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yeah, you very much for your there. for your time, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch up again uh, fairly soon and learn more about what you've built since then. Cool. Great. Good. Cool. Thanks very much, Take guys. Care. Cheers. cheers.